Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tara, and I am here to do a reading for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, this is your weekly reading. This is your reading for this week. Um, so, Divine Feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in, keep in time. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so this reading can, manif can manifest this week. It can manifest later, later on down the line in time after this week or this present reading might be past energy for you if this present reading is past energy for you then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance so divine feminine i did get messages for you during the pre-shuffle and the messages that i got was um you may experience some type of discomfort um upheaval or disappointment this week um but i picked up that you're able you're capable you can you can endure this. You're strong enough. You're you're capable, divine feminine. And for some of y'all, the 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 discomfort is only for this week. So, divine feminine, you might lose something this week. Some type of something going to happen, but it's only for this week, divine feminine. But um you're capable of enduring this situation. You're capable um Basically, to handle the situation in a mature, in a mature manner, and just take it as like another experience under your belt. Just take it as another experience. Um, yeah. So those were the messages that I got on the pre shuffle. So divine feminine, I pulled you a crystal or uh, inspiration for this week, and I got you guys your overall energy from the Kipper deck. I'm gonna also put three cards from the tea leaf deck. I'm gonna put three cards for you for this week, and um. I'm going to use the time deck, too. I was undecided on whether or not I wanted to use this deck in the reading for this week. Um, but I am because I I said time by accident. So I'm going to use it. So I'm going to give you guys a time card as well. So um, let me go ahead and jump in. So your crystal inspiration that came out for you was, um, what do this say? Chrysocola? Chrysocola? Chrysocola or Chris Cola and then start fresh. Start fresh. And your overall energy um, for this week pathway came out. So this is your overall energy. Um, this energy is what's crowning you for this week pathway. So let me read a little bit about what this pathway energy is about. And it say literally it all... Literally, it's all paths, roads, walkways, tracks, and trails. This card represents distance in a good length of time. This leads to a timing hint of one or two years. There is a light at the end of the tunnel now. If you, if you don't try to force the matter, you will experience continuous development. This card may concern the slow growth of a partnership or long-term career planning. This card also represents all roads, streets, and ways, forests, and nature. This card means a long road ahead. Um, this card can also mean great physical distance. Great physical distance. So, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up manifestation. I've been picking up on that energy, like, since last week and this week. Like, the magician energy, man manifesting. What is it to really manifest, that magician energy? Um, Divine Feminine, you could be a Gemini or a Virgo, or you can have those signs in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. But I've been picking that up a lot. Like the magician to manifest, manifesting. Divine Feminine, you could be in the middle of a manifestation. And what I heard during the pre-shuffle, I didn't even want to get into that because... I didn't want to get into it, but I'm going to say a little bit. Man, it's more to manifesting than what meets the eye. It's more to manifestation, manifesting than what meets the eye. Um, one of the downsides of manifestation, for the most part, um, is sometimes we don't have control over the time aspect of your manifestation. Um... And sometimes another downside of manifesting is it takes time. It takes time. Um, 
it takes time. Things don't happen overnight. So sometimes manifesting to be the magician, it takes time. So that's a um I guess I was led to speak on the the more realistic aspect of manifesting, the more realistic, the more logical, down to earth, the practical aspect of manifesting, the reality of manifesting, the downsides, the negative sides of manifesting, being a magician. Um, sometimes people don't have the patience, the reality of it. People Sometimes people don't have the patience or the maturity to manifest because it takes time. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I picked that up during the pre-shuffle, but I didn't want to, but I, I guess I, yeah, well, I just said it. Yeah, that's the reality and the downside for the most part of what it is to manifest. It takes time. Sometimes it takes time. So. Because <clears throat> it's like people just pull the magician card. And you just see the magician. But the reality of the, the logistics of that card. The reality of that card is. Sometimes that takes time to be the magician or to manifest something. It takes time. And the reason why sometimes it takes longer than we expect is because we're not really in control. Keep in mind as well that the magician car is also a, man, a major arcana. Um, I think I said this before in one of my other read readings. The major arcanas, for the most part, is the universe in control. You have to be, in, in my opinion, you have to be, in order to be successful, you have to be invited in, into a major arcana energy. You have to be invited into that energy. If you take part in a major arcana energy and you have not, it's not the right timing or you haven't been invited by the most high because the most high dwells in major arcana energy for the most part. So if you step into the major arcana energy and it's not the right timing, it's it's not going to be good. It's something's going to it's going to be failure. It's not going to be successful. So the magician is a major arcana. So when you want to manifest something, for the most part, people got to understand the universe is in control for the most part of the overall. The universe is in control for the most part. Because to be the magician, you have to. Yeah. You have to realize you're not in control for the most part. But it all depends on what your beliefs are. I'm speaking on the aspect of what my beliefs are. So it, it depends on what you believe in. It depends on what you believe in. Because um, it's all universal. It's universal and we all have we all have our own beliefs. We all have our own beliefs. And it is universal. So it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So um All right. So let me put you a time card. Give me a time card for divine feminine for this week. What's divine feminine's time card for this week? What is Divine Feminine's time card for this week? Okay, 48 hours. 48 hours. I think this time card came out for you last week. One of them readings I did, it was either Divine Feminine reading from last week or it was an after dark reading that I did. But this card came out 48 hours. Yeah, I think this came out last week, 48 hours. So Divine Feminine, this is your time card for this week. Something to do with 48 hours. So that's what, two days? Two days, 48 hours, Divine Feminine. Fresh start is your crystal inspiration. Some type of fresh start. All right, so I'm going to do a mini love portion, Divine Feminine, to see what you can expect in love and romance for this week. So what's going on with Divine Feminine and love and romance this week? What can Divine Feminine expect in love and romance? All right, friendship. So this is a good one. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. 
So Divine Feminine, this could be in love and romance. Then this friendship could just be a friendship. Or this is like friends with benefits. Um, but it's leading to more. So this is what you can expect with some type of friendship. It can literally just be friends. You guys are friendship. Are you guys are friends? Or this is friends with benefits. But regardless, it's um leading to more. So divine feminine, a friendship that you have with a lover or partner is leading to more this week. So you can that's what you can expect. Or divine feminine, you might become friends with someone this week. But just know that your friendship with this lover, it could begin this week, but it's going to lead to more. It's leading to more. And then at the bottom, we have new love. A new love or recommitment to love is, a, is developing. So, yeah, this, is, this could be new love, Divine Feminine. This friendship could be new love. Or this friendship is going to lead to new love. So this could be a new lover or just new love or a recommitment or something like that. And then your or your crystal will start fresh. So divine feminine, this could be a new lover. Or it could be an old lover, divine feminine, and spirit wants you to start fresh. <clears throat> whatever, whatever type of distrust or resentment you had against your old lover, but you guys plan on recommitting to each other, you have to start fresh, divine feminine. Or you should start fresh. Let go of distrust or resentment or grudges or whatever. If this is an old lover and you're recommitting to an old lover, your crystal is, start, start, is to start fresh. And it's not only concerning love, love and romance. This is just your crystal for this week. So this can be in every aspect of your life or certain aspects of your life for this week. But your crystal is to start fresh. So this could be a new lover or an old lover you're recommitting to. All right. So what's going on with Divine Feminine in this friendship energy this week? What's going on with Divine Feminine? In love and romance. Okay. I know you're watching me. So Divine Feminine, whoever your lover is in this friendship energy, you know that this person is watching you. You know that this person is watching you. Divine Feminine, you know that this person probably wants more than, a, more than a friendship with you. Amongst other things, Divine Feminine, you know. And you also know that this person, your lover, watches you. You know that. Y'all probably have a crush on each other. Or you guys are going to reconcile or something like that. What's going on with Divine Feminine's lover and his friendship energy? What's going on with Divine Feminine's lover and this friendship energy? Or Divine Feminine's potential lover. What's going on with this? I hope you're happy for me. I hope you're happy for me. So Divine Feminine, your lover wants to say that they hope you're happy for them. Hmm. <sighs> For some of you guys, uh, okay, I'm going to see if I can pick up something, but Divine Feminine, your lover has fallen in love with you and they are hope, Divine Feminine, your lover hope that you feel the same way because um, it's like Divine Feminine, say like you knew this lover for a long time, but you guys were just friends or you guys were just friends with benefits. And your lover used to tell you, I can't wait to get married. I can't wait till I find my equal, my person, my wife. But Divine Feminine, the whole time, you was, you was this person's equal. And Divine Feminine, your lover could be realizing that this week. So they're saying, Divine Feminine, I've been talking to you for years saying that I want a girlfriend. I want a wife. I want to find my equal. And I figured out, Divine Feminine, that my equal is you. So I hope you're happy for me. Yeah, Divine Feminine, your lover is hoping that you feel the same way they, they feel about you. They're hoping that the feelings are mutual. And they pro and they pro they want to tell you, Divine Feminine. Your lover wants to tell you that you're the one or they feel as though you're the one. 
And they hope that when they tell you this good news, that you're going to be happy and that you agree with them. So basically, Divine Feminine, your lover is saying, I hope that you're happy that I love you. I hope you're happy that I love you. I hope that you love me back. Yeah. Because y'all been friends or just friends with benefits. And Divine Feminine, if this is like, if your lover is like, y'all, you guys were friends with benefits. Divine Feminine, you played your part. You played your part. You could have been a third party, didn't have to be. Or both of you guys were just single. But Divine Feminine, you ain't, you didn't too much bother this lover. You didn't bother this lover. Uh, whether you whether you was the third party or not, Divine Feminine, you played your part. If y'all was friends, you kept it as friendship. You didn't overstep boundaries. Like, things like that, Divine Feminine. All right. So, Divine Feminine, that's what you can expect um, in love and romance for this week. Um, For some of you guys, I'm kind of picking up. This could be a little bit of, like, um, maybe bad news. But not bad news, though, because this person is your friend. Um, divine feminine for some of you guys, it's like the beginning stages of maybe your twin flame connection. It's like you guys are entering into the downside of the twin flame connection. So divine feminine, this could be like your, you and your divine masculine, y'all friends, but your divine masculine is probably not awakened. It's like your divine masculine is coming to you, divine feminine, and he's telling you that he's getting involved with a karmic or he's marrying a karmic or he think that the karmic is the one for him so it's like the beginning stages of the downside of a twin flame connection but divine feminine the core of it all whether you have your divine masculine or you don't you guys have a friendship it, and it all depends divine feminine it all depends yeah this friendship is leading to something more. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm picking up reality. The reality of things. Uh, I don't know if people this week is going to get a lot of reality checks. Like reality. Um, but it's a, a, good, a good side and a downside to everything in life. It's, it's the reality. Everything is not all roses and flowers. Um, even with a blessing, there's even downsides to a blessing. So like I said, divine feminine for some of y'all, it's the beginning stages. You're going to get into that energy of, um, you going through the downside of your twin flame connection and your divine master might leave you. Yeah. He might return and later on down the line in time, but he might leave you for a karmic, like something like that going on. So, so I'm picking up, I'm picking up on a lot of, uh, react the reality of blessings. That's what I might, um, name this video, the reality of, of being blessed or the reality of blessings or the downside of a blessing. Something like that. I might name the video depending on what come out. Oh, so let me put three tea leaf cards for you, divine feminine for this week. We're going to see what come out. I'm going to pull three. So give me three tea leaves. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to take that one. Give me two more for Divine Feminine. This week, this one. And then, okay. Okay, so the first one was Ant. Work, achievement, success. So Divine Feminine, this could be something going on in your energy. This could be you. So some type of work, achievement, and success, Divine Feminine, for you this week. And then we have Bird Perched. Bird Perch. Waiting for news, package, or letter. So divine feminine, you or somebody else could be waiting for news for um waiting on news package or letter, and then we have vase secret admirer, secret admirer. Okay. All right. So those are the three tea leaves for you for this week, divine feminine. All right. All right. So I'm doing this reading a little bit different this week concerning the tarot cards. So I'm gonna just pull, I'm just pulling randomly instead of like setting up the cards. So the first card out, we had the Ten of Pentacles. So um, 
divine feminine. You could be an earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Or um, you could have earth in your chart. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So we have Ten of Pentacles here. And then we have Ant. Work, achievement, and success. And that's all about what the Ten of Pentacles entail. Work, achievement, success. Um... Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is like longevity, investments, retirement funds, family legacy, things like that. The Ten of Pentacles is all about work, achievement, and success. This could also be a marriage. This could be a family business. And then we have the Two of Wands. Divine Feminine, you could be a fire sign, dealing with a fire sign, or you could have fire in your chart. Um, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, two of wands. And then we got the ten of wands. Yeah, ten of wands, more fire energy. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, so... Divine Feminine, it's looking like in the recent past, or maybe or maybe even this week, it was a split. It was a split. So this could have been a business or a marriage or something. Or this could have even been a joint bank account. This was a family business, a marriage, or a joint bank account you could have had with someone. But there was a split. That's what I'm seeing. It was a split. This could have been something that you guys did in, a, in private. Or divine feminine, there was legalities you had to resolve in court. This could even have been a divorce. But I'm picking up divine feminine. One of you guys are two wands and the other person is ten wands. Because there was a split. So divine feminine, this could be, an for an example, say like you had a lover. And divine feminine, you could still be with this lover, but you guys are going to decide. We are no longer going to have a joint account. We're not doing that no more. So it's like y'all going y'all separate ways as far as a joint account. Y'all can still be together, but you guys are making up your mind. Y'all don't want to have joint accounts no more. So Divine Feminine, one of you guys are in two of wands and the other one is um, ten wands. I'm also picking up whatever this split is, whether it's a marriage, a family business, or a joint bank account. One person invested more than the other. So this split or this separation is causing a burden for one person, but not too much the other person. So somebody is burdened by the, by the splitting of assets, by this divorce, or, just, you know, something being separated. Yeah, somebody's burdened, divine feminine... This could even be a child, divine feminine. Divine feminine, you could be an earth sign and your child's father could be a... Divine feminine, you could be a fire sign. Your child's father could be a fire sign. But it's like what you guys had in common, the Ten of Pentacles, your child could be an earth sign. And you and your lover could be fire signs. So divine feminine, I don't know. This could be like a trust fund. Um, Your child could have a settlement fund or a college fund or something like that. Some type of money in the Ten of Pentacles. And you guys might split it or something. Or Divine Feminine, you and your child's father or you and your husband both agree to invest in your child's future in some type of way. And it's a burden to one of y'all. It's a burden. It's a financial burden to invest into this child. So this could be a college fund or whatever. <clears throat> Yes. So that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I think you in 10 wands, though. I think you're in 10 wands because your crystal is start fresh. So you being burdened by something, Divine Feminine, this week, it's an opportunity for you to let something go or to possibly be honest about something or to seek out help. Because you burden. The Ten of Wands mean, can usually mean an ending, 
a ending. So spirit might burden you with something divine feminine that you feel is too, something could feel overwhelming. Or you feel as though you can't handle this responsibility or this is not fair or woe is me. But divine feminine, your crystal is start fresh. So that's why you have you 10 wands. Spirit probably wants you to start over. I don't know, Divine Feminine, you could have had a joint bank account with your mother, your father, your grandmother, whoever. You could have had a joint account with someone. And Divine Feminine, this person decided to like no longer have a joint account with you. And you could be a little upset. Divine Feminine, you like, now what am I supposed to do? And this person like, mm -mm, Divine Feminine, you grown. So this person, two wands, and Divine Feminine, you ten wands. Divine Feminine, this person could have invested into this thing more than you have. So it's not a it's not a burden to this person that they went their separate ways from you. But you're burdened. But it's because Spirit wants you to have a fresh start. Start over. This separation was for your good, Divine Feminine. Your higher, your higher self. Yeah, and then we got the King of Swords. Yeah, so Divine, Divine Feminine, this could definitely be an ex. It could be your ex-lover. A uh, ex-landlord. I don't know, Divine Feminine, if a landlord might evict you this week. Um, The King of Swords is an ex. Or this is somebody's lawyer or something like that. So this could be an ex-business partner, an ex-lover, an ex-friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I think somebody is cutting ties with you in some type of shape, form, or fashion. And it's a burden to you, but only because Spirit allowed like an ending, Divine Feminine. If it's not an ending, it's just an adjustment. So it don't have to be an ending. <coughs> so Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where you was working full-time hours. So Divine Feminine, you was working full-time and you was getting all the benefits at work. And your job might come to you and say, Divine Feminine, we cutting your hours. You're a part-time worker now. So it's like you still can obtain this Ten of Pentacles or you still can maintain this Ten of Pentacles. It's just you were separated from something, Divine Feminine. And it could have been you, you're being separated from being a full-time worker to a part-time. But Spirit wants you to start fresh in some type of way. So this could have been a situation with Divine Feminine. You was a full-time worker, but you didn't, you wasn't balancing your home life with your career. So what spirit might allow to happen is divine feminine. You're not balancing home and career. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knock you back down to part-time. So you don't, you're not going to have no choice, but to interact with your family in your home because now you're part-time. So by the next time the opportunity opens up for you to become a full-time worker, you will know and understand how to balance your home and your career. Like something like that. Spirit could be doing something for your own good. So it's like you're getting a fresh start in something. Because Divine Feminine, it could be a situation where you work and work and work and work and work and work. And Spirit know you have this Ten of Pentacles. You have this Ten of Pentacles or Divine Feminine. This Ten of Pentacles is your goal. Um, but spirit is saying, divine feminine, I see what you want, but you don't see the future divine feminine. <coughs> so it's like spirit is saying, okay, divine feminine working full time, but divine feminine is neglecting her children. Divine feminine don't spend enough time with her children. And I know in the future, divine feminine wants, wants divine feminine want it all. She want the money, the house, the clothes, the family, the grandkids, da, 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 da. divine feminine want it all. But it's like Divine Feminine, you might be able to obtain this Ten of Pentacles in the future. But it's like Divine Feminine, when your kids get older, you're going to be in this house by yourself. Because it's like your kids is going to resent you because you spent all your time at work. But Divine Feminine, the original plan, you did this Ten of Pentacles for your overall future, for you and your kids, your grandkids. So you worked all the time. 
But you didn't realize, Divine Feminine, that you putting it all at work. You're going to get the house and the cars and the investments, but you're going to lose your kids or something like that. It's like, Divine Feminine, you get this land and everything, but it's like your kids is not going to be around you. Because they're going to have, like, a, they're going to be offended because you spent all your time at work. So, it's like Divine Feminine Spirit trying to give you what you want in the future. Whatever your future plans are, he's trying to give it to you. Yeah. So, Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, you want the house, the grandkids. You want everything in your future. So, I'm trying to fix it so you can have it the way you want it. But Divine Feminine, if you want your kids and your grandkids, <coughs> you're going to have to learn how to spend time with your children now. So when the future comes, your kids won't be pissed off at you because you never was there. So Divine Feminine, I'm fixing it right now to where you learn how to balance work and home. Like something like that. Yeah. All right. And then we have, yep, the magician. Yep, so we had the magicians right here. Yeah, Divine Feminine. <clears throat> you the Ten of Wands. You the Ten of Wands. And you was trying to manifest something, Divine Feminine, and it might fall apart. You might experience like a little tower. So you're going to have to leave behind manifesting something, Divine Feminine, because something not working out. But it's because Divine Feminine Spirit wants you to manifest something the right way. He's trying to get you to balance something. So you wanted to manifest something, Divine Feminine, but you're going to have to leave the magician energy alone for a while. Because you was on the right track, but Divine Feminine, you was doing something wrong. A little bit. Yeah. So you manifesting, Divine Feminine, is, be, is going to be a burden for you this week. And you're going to let it go. You're going to let go of some type of manifestation, Divine Feminine. And you're going to have to start fresh. Because you was on the right track, Divine Feminine. You meant well. But you was missing something. You was missing something. And I gave um, balancing your work and family as an example. Divine Feminine, that don't have to be exactly your situation. I gave that for an example. But yeah, Divine Feminine, you might have to let go of a manifestation. And again, I'm I, the tower is not out here. Death is not out here. So that's what's making me think, Divine Feminine, is not like a complete ending. This is not like you're getting fired or you're going through a divorce or a separation. It's just somebody's making adjustments, Divine Feminine. It's an adjustment. Something is changing. So it's not like an ending. It's just something has changed. So like I said, Divine Feminine, you're not, <coughs> you're not divorcing a lover or breaking up. You guys could have just had a joint account. And it's like your love might decide, I don't want to have a joint account with you. We we split. No, we not having a joint account no more. So it's like you're still able to have your ten of pentacles. It's just you and your lover is not having joint accounts no more. <clears throat> or something like that. What's going on with the king of swords? Divine something. you can be a fire sign. A uh, Virgo or Gemini, and your lover could be a fire sign with air in his chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or something like that. What's going on with the King of Swords? Yeah, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, yeah. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up that some somebody was helping you with something, Divine Feminine. Or you was helping somebody else with something. But whoever was helping the other person, it wasn't benefiting this person. So, for example, Divine Feminine, say like your lover or the King of Swords or whoever. He he got a joint account with you. But Divine Feminine, he put in 10000 you put in 300 And like every week, y'all bill on this joint account. Y'all put money in. But it's like Divine Feminine, the King of Swords found out. You, you, you break in the contract. Y'all, y'all could have had a verbal agreement and it's like divine feminine. You're not upholding your half of the, your half of the agreement. So it's like this week, the King of Swords is going to break contract with you and you got, and you guys are no longer going to have a joint account because the King of Swords is full of cups and he don't want to feel like that no more. 
Yeah, the King of Swords is four cups. And he like bumped that. I'm trying to help Divine Feminine out. And Divine Feminine not keep upholding her half of the um agreement. So I'm about to cut out my four cups. I'm not I'm not going to feel rejected or neglected or I'm not going to feel like I'm missing the opportunity. I'm not going to allow Divine Feminine to cause me a loss. So the King of Swords might uh yeah, I think this four cups is the King of King of Swords. And the King of Swords is disappointment. Disappointed Divine Feminine. And you a little bit. I'm picking up the King of Swords is disappointed in you. <coughs> and it's like the King of Swords is saying, uh-uh. Me and Divine Feminine, we're friends. So I want me and Divine Feminine to stay friends. So I'm going to have to cut out. Whatever me and Divine Feminine are doing together, I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have to pull back. So me and Divine Feminine can stay friends. Divine Feminine, this could have even been you borrowing money from the King of Swords. Or something. Yeah. All right, what's going on with this magician? Yeah, the King of Cups. The King of Cups. So, um, Divine Feminine, you could be a water sign. You could be dealing with a water sign or got water in your chart. A Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you was trying to manifest something in love. Or oh, Divine Feminine, you was, um... Oh, oh, let me see something. The King of Cups. Is this Divine Feminine? This King of Cups? <laughs> is this Divine Feminine? This King of Cups? Yeah, that is you. Okay. Divine Feminine, it's kind of looking like you was trying to undermine somebody. It's like, the, <laughs> it's not funny, but Divine Feminine, you, um, it's like Divine Feminine, you wanted somebody to trust you, but you kept messing something up. Divine Feminine, you meant well, but you kept messing something up. You kept messing something up, Divine Feminine. And I think that whoever that King of Swords is, he is like, he like, uh-uh, no. This not working. So I don't know, Divine Feminine. Somebody was like doing you a favor or something. And this person gonna stop. And it's like Divine Feminine, you telling this person, Dad, can you just give me another week? Can you give me another chance? So Divine Feminine, this could be like um an example, like um your car, I'm giving this for an example. Like, this is like somebody trying to bargain and reason with the repo man. Like your finance company. Divine Feminine, you could have missed like three payments. And like every month, the 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 you, you call the finance company. And for the past three months, the finance company man be like, okay, yeah, I'll give you another month. Yep, I'll give you another month. Yep, I'll give you another month. But it's like Divine Feminine, this week... You could be calling your finance company to get a pass for February because February coming up. And Divine Feminine, when you call the King of Swords and be like, you know, I'm sorry. Um, I need one more month. Just give me one more month. And that King of Swords is like, no, mm -mm, I'm coming to get that car. I'm coming to get it. If you don't have your money by in February, I'm coming to get the car at the end of February. I'm not giving you another chance. Yeah, something like that going on, Divine Feminine. Oh, boy. Yeah, that King of Swords was like doing you a favor, Divine Feminine, but you was causing that King of Swords disappointment. It's looking like. But you... But divine feminine, you had love with the, to the, you had love for this person. Or divine feminine, you was trying to manifest maturity, emotional maturity. Divine feminine, this king of swords could have been kept telling you to stop being immature, or this king of swords kept warning you about something. This could have been about finances, divine feminine. You and the king of swords could have had a joint account, and the king of swords kept warning you, divine feminine, stop spending the money. 
And the divine feminine, you was trying to manifest like self-control, emotional mastery. Like trying to control yourself with finances or your emotions. You was trying to manifest some type of maturity. So this could have been emotional maturity, financial mat maturity. And the divine feminine, the king, of, the king of swords is going to like... Yeah, this week that king of swords going gonna to cut you off from something, divine feminine. And you was trying to manifest it, divine feminine. You was trying, but the king of swords, yeah, something like that. So divine feminine, I don't know if this is your ther therapist or something. And you wasn't paying your therapist. You owe you, you you probably owe balance to your doctor or therapist or something, divine feminine. This could, I also see divine feminine. You was trying to get a bill to stay off your um. You was trying to get a credit. You didn't want something to <coughs> divine feminine. You didn't want something to go to collections. I see that too. You didn't want something to go to collections. Mm hmm. Divine feminine. I also see. You might have to break down this week and ask somebody for help. Because you was trying to handle something by yourself, Divine Feminine. This could have also been something to do with credit or finances. And that King of Swords was giving you chance after chance, but he not this week, Divine Feminine. And you might be forced to go off and ask somebody for help or something like that. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine too that you liked it, this King of Swords. The King of Swords can be your ex-lover. The King of Swords can be a karmic to you, Divine Feminine. The King of Swords is very responsible, but Divine Feminine, he's a karmic. And you probably wanted this King of Swords for stability, but he's a karmic. This, this King of Swords could be very stable financially. But Divine Feminine, the King of Swords might leave you. Because he feels as though you're financially immature or you're emotionally immature. So the King of Swords might break up with you. And you was trying to manifest maturity, Divine Feminine. To please the King of Swords, but I, he might leave you, Divine, Divine Feminine. But Divine Feminine, you and this King of Swords is not compatible. Y'all not compatible. The King of Cups with the King of Swords, that's not compatible. Divine Feminine, that King of Swords don't want to date a woman in her masculine energy. Divine Feminine, you the King of Cups. Y'all not compatible. Whoever this King of Swords is, <coughs> especially if it's um in romance, y'all not compatible, Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine, you was, it's like you were doing the total opposite of what this King of Swords was requesting of you. <laughs> you was trying to um satisfy the King of Swords, Divine Feminine, but y'all not compatible. Y'all not compatible. <laughs> and you were still showing up as masculine, Divine Feminine. <laughs> you were still showing up as masculine, and that's not what the King of Swords wanted. Yeah, so he might break ties with you or something. But it's for your overall good, Divine Feminine. Yeah, so let me see. Let me see something. What is this King of Swords issue with Divine Feminine this week? What is the King of Swords issue with Divine Feminine? Betrayal. Turn their back on you. Constant F up asshole. Yeah. So divine feminine. I'm picking up. I don't think divine feminine. The situation is that serious. It could have been. But the king of swords is taking something serious. Divine feminine. Because of that's the king of swords energy. The king of swords is very serious. No nonsense. The facts. So, Divine Feminine, this King of Swords is taking something as a betrayal. This King of Swords is very serious about something. And this King of Swords could be serious about their emotions. The King of Swords, something about emotions that King of Swords don't like. This King of Swords probably don't like getting his feelings hurt. This King of Swords, mm -mm. It's something this King of Swords don't like. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up, you did not betray this King of Swords, but from the King of Swords perspective, because of his coldness, he's taking your immaturity as a betrayal, Divine Feminine. As a betrayal, something like that. 
And Divine Feminine, this King of Swords feel as though you turned their back. You turned your back on him. You're a constant F up and you an asshole, Divine Feminine. So this could be concerning your emotions or finances, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, this could be a situation you and the King of Swords had a joint bank account. And Divine Feminine, say like every day you take out $20 to go get you a coffee. And the King of Swords has been telling you, Divine Feminine, <coughs> it's like Divine Feminine, say like you do everything by yourself. You do everything the King of Swords require of you. You take care of your kids. You take care of the King of Swords. But Divine Feminine, it's the King of Swords been telling you, Divine Feminine, do not go in our joint account and take money from that account. That's for the baby. And Divine Feminine, you went in that joint account when that King of Swords told you not to. And the King of Swords is, might break up with you. Or he going to, um, y'all not going to have that joint account no more. Because the King of Swords is serious about that Ten of Pentacles. So it could have been something like, you was like, Dad, I take out $20 every week. And then when I get my check, I put the money back. What's the big deal? It's like Divine Feminine, you saying to the King of Swords, what's the big deal? I'm not really stealing. Like, I, I take it out when I get low on money. You know, I just take out the $20 and I put it back. I don't understand what's the big deal. And Divine Feminine, that King of Swords feel betrayed. And he going to either end it with you or he going to take you off of that account or something like that. Yeah, something like that. But that whatever this is, Divine Feminine, that King of Swords ain't playing with you. He's serious. He is serious. So if he say leave that baby account alone, don't take a dollar out that account. And Divine Feminine, if he find out you taking money out that account, mm -mm. he's serious, Divine Feminine. <clears throat> Something that that King of Swords is serious about, Divine Feminine, you're not. You don't feel the same way as that King of Swords. But he's dead serious. So, something like that might happen. Yeah. So, the Divine Feminine Spirit is saying it's not that big of a deal. If the King of Swords wanted to take you off his account, Divine Feminine, he had a right to. It's not that big of a deal, Divine Feminine. But it's a lesson in it for you to learn, Divine Feminine. You can build up your own savings account. You don't need to have a joint account with that King of Swords, Divine Feminine. You can build up your own savings. Like, something like that Spirit trying to tell you. So, what's the divine feminist issue with the King of Swords this week? Never satisfied. Yeah. Hard to please. Nothing is ever enough and satisfiable. Yeah. So, divine feminine, you feeling, you saying to the King of Swords, it was only $20. It was only $20 or it wasn't that serious. So, divine feminine, you feel as though, because I'm feeling, divine feminine, whoever the King of Swords is to you, you do everything you're supposed to do. It's just that one thing, it's like one thing I'm picking up, Divine Feminine, you not doing something that King of Swords way, and he's going to like cut you off from something or something like that. Yeah. But your issue with the King of Swords is that he's never satisfied. Whoever the King of Swords is, it could be a lover, it could be a boss, it could be a landlord, a lawyer, your therapist or something, Divine Feminine, you probably, I'm picking up, you owe money, you owe somebody some money. Or you owe a bill or you're trying to avoid getting a bill sent to collections or to keep your car from getting a repo or something like that. And Divine Feminine, your issue with the King of Swords, he's not satisfied. Yeah, something like that. But it's for your overall good, Divine Feminine, because you're capable of manifesting this without the King of Swords. Or Spirit wants you to learn how to balance something, Divine Feminine. Spirit just wants you to learn how to balance something or something like that. Because really, to a certain extent, the King of Swords was like a crutch to you, Divine Feminine. You was kind of using the King of Swords as a crutch to a certain extent. <coughs> yeah, so this is like a minor towel. This is a minor towel moment, Divine Feminine. And you just going to start something by yourself or get something correct, Divine Feminine. Because you're capable of doing something like by yourself. Or you're capable. This can also be Divine Feminine. You was um, robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's like Divine Feminine, you had the money for like your car note. 
but you wanted the king of swords to wait or something like that. Divine feminine. You wanted the king of swords to wait because you was doing something like with your money. I'm picking that up too. And it's like divine feminine It's not that big of a deal. Stop playing with people. So this could be like your car getting repo. It's like divine feminine. Even if you have the money that king of swords don't want it. Because it's like you made him wait for too long. So it's like Divine Feminine, your car might get repoed. And it's like Divine Feminine, you're going to go get you another car. And it's like, next time you get you another car, it's like Spirit is saying, stop playing with them people. If you have the money, Divine Feminine, pay it. Like something like that, Spirit trying to teach you something, Divine Feminine. If you have the money, pay it. Stop trying to look for loopholes and stuff like that, Divine Feminine. If you had the money to pay for your car note, you should have paid it. Yeah, something like that. So let me put some tea on this energy. What's the tea with the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, a thief. A thief, yeah. Rob lost that physical or emotional thing. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I think this thief is you a little bit. I think this thief is you, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, this could have even been like whoever the King of Swords is. Whatever y'all had going together, Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where Divine Feminine said like the King of Swords got you a cell phone. Or the, the King of Swords got a credit card for you <coughs> in his name. It's like Divine Feminine. You um you paid the bill every month, but you used to pay the bill late. So it's like the King of Swords didn't like the fact that the late fees. So it's like Divine Feminine, say like your monthly payment was like $70 on the credit card. Divine Feminine, you would pay the bill late. So it would go from $70 to $82. The King of Swords didn't like that. So it was some type of thief or theft or something, Divine Feminine. I'm picking up this King of Swords is not, is not playing about something. Or Divine Feminine, the King of Swords is serious about his feelings. And he don't like when you play emotional games with him, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, I don't know if you was trying to manipulate the King of Swords emotionally. And he don't like that. So that King of Swords could have been like, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. The Divine Feminine not hurting my feelings no more. I'm going to fix this. So concerning this tool, Ten of Pentacles, there was a thief here. There was a thief. Somebody could have been trying to steal from someone emotionally or physically. But I'm picking up some type of late payment or Divine Feminine. The King of Swords felt as though you was trying to manipulate him emotionally or something like that. Yeah, Divine Feminine, that King of Swords view you as a thief. And I think to a certain extent, Divine Feminine, this King of Swords is right. <coughs> the King of Swords is right, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Yep, the King of Swords is right. Well, that's the accusation. That's why it's a split in this Ten of Pentacles, because it's some type of thief. What's the tea with the Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands? Yeah, car is bankrupt. Yeah, something going on with a car. Divine Feminine, this King of Swords can also be you. So it's like Divine Feminine, you the King of Swords and the Magician. And Divine Feminine, you could be disgusted at yourself. You could be pissed off at yourself. Because it's like you're going to realize something this week. Like you was like sabotaging yourself or something. You could be the King of Swords and the Magician. And it's like divine feminine, you're gonna realize like where you was going wrong, like you like you played yourself, <laughs> something like that. It's like divine feminine, you the king of swords, <laughs> but you was trying to manifest being e like tapping into your emotions. And divine feminine, you might have to accept that you just the king of swords. Like don't try to be something you're not. Be who you are. It's like Divine Feminine, you the King of Swords for a reason. That's who you are. You could be an air sign. But you was trying to manifest the King of Cups. But Divine Feminine, it wasn't working. Whatever you was doing that King of Cups energy or you wanted to do, 
You, I don't think you were supposed to be doing that. It's like divine feminine. You was trying to be nice to somebody else. But it was a reason why divine feminine, you was being cold to this person. It's like you was trying to, you was wrestling with your intuition, divine feminine. You knew the best choice was for you to be the king of swords. Don't play no games with somebody. But it's like divine feminine, you was getting softer. You was getting too soft, too mushy. And you wasn't supposed to be soft or mushy in this situation. Because it was a thief around your ten of pentacles. It was a thief around. And it's like divine feminine, somebody convinced you to be the king of cups. Or something. Or something or somebody was trying to con convince you to manifest love or be more understanding. Divine Feminine, be more nice. Be more patient. Be the king of cups, Divine Feminine. Don't go in there and have an attitude with them people. Don't show your emotions. Stop yelling. Something, some, yeah, but Divine Feminine, mm-mm. You were supposed to stay in that king of swords energy for a reason. So it's like Divine Feminine, your issue with the King of the Sword, if the King of Swords is you, it's like you kind of like mad at yourself. Because <coughs> it's like, it's like Divine Feminine, you played yourself, a betrayal, or something like that, Divine Feminine. Because it's like Divine Feminine, when you was the magician, you was trying to manifest, you was trying to manifest emotions. And you was trying to get away from being logical. You was trying to get away from the King of Swords energy. You was trying to adjust your personality. But I don't think you were supposed to. So basically, you was lowering your standards, Divine Feminine, when you should not have been. Because the King of Swords don't lower his standards. The King of Cups might, but the King of Swords don't. So divine feminine, yeah, something like that going on. But the T about the two of wands and the ten of wands is carless and bankrupt. So no car repo car issues. So divine feminine, I don't know. The king of swords could have helped you something would do with a car. And some type of, yeah, somebody car might get repo or something like that. That's the T. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, the King of Swords. <clears throat> Divine Feminine, somebody was doing you a favor or you was doing somebody else a favor and something might backfire. And it has something to do with a car. What's the tea with the King of Swords and the Magician? What's the tea with that? With the King of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, kissing ass. Yeah, somebody was kissing somebody ass. Divine Feminine, you was kissing somebody's ass. Could have been the King of Swords because you wanted something from the King of Swords. Or Divine Feminine, you're the King of Swords and somebody was kissing your ass. They wanted you to drop your guard, let down your standards or something. Because they wanted something from you. And you was like, okay, okay, okay. I do it this one time. So Divine Feminine, you was trying to manifest the King of Cups when you should have stayed in the King of Swords energy or something. Or something like that going on. Yeah, what's the tea with the four of cups and the king of cups? Yeah, legal issues. Court judges, immigration lawyers, yeah. Something could definitely be going on with a car. Somebody car might get repo or divine feminine, you owe a bill, or you you're trying to avoid a bill getting sent to collections or something like that. Something, something to do with legal issues though, legalities. Yeah, a car and something to do with finances. Yeah. So let me just spill the beans. Spill the beans. Oh dang. What? <clears throat> spill the beans with the ten of pentacles and thief. Spill the beans with this. Yeah, a crush. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, somebody have this ten of pentacles with their crush. So it's like somebody long term crush. Somebody was building with their long term crush. But there was a thief in the mix. Or Divine Feminine, you was doing something and you didn't realize that you was actually either emotionally manipulating your person. Or this, or your person is taking something as you being a thief, Divine Feminine. So this could be something as simple as Divine Feminine. The King of Swords is telling you, pay your credit card on time. I don't like late payments. I don't like late fees. So Divine Feminine, can you please pay your credit card on time? Like something like that was going on. But that's spilling the beans. Somebody wanted a Ten of Pentacles with their crush or somebody had Ten of Pentacles with their crush. But it was some thieving energy. Yeah. Spill the beans with um, Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Carlos, and Bankrupt. Spill the beans with this. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Carlos, and Bankrupt. You're protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you was trying to protect yourself. And you might have, could have been. Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, I'm picking up the King of Swords is right. Whether the King of Swords is you or somebody else. Whoever the King of Swords is, I'm picking up the King of Swords is right in the matter. Because the King of Swords is talking about straight facts. Bump all them emotions. I'm talking about facts. So the king of swords will say to you, I don't care if we married or not. The fact of the matter is that's my credit card and you're using my credit card. Those are the facts. I don't care if we married or not. Like something like that. <clears throat> or the king of swords is going to say, I don't care if we're married. I don't care if we knew each other for 20 years. If I'm telling you stop, um, make your credit card payment on time to avoid late fees. The late fees is what's killing us. Stop making your credit card payment late because the late fees is what's killing us. It's the late fees. Like something like that. But Divine Feminine, you was um, protecting yourself. That's the T. So you could have been trying to maybe use the King of, use the King of Swords because you wanted to protect yourself. That's the T. Needing to keep yourself safe. The right family, you was trying to keep yourself safe or something. That's the T. Hmm. Yeah. You was um, protecting yourself, Divine Feminine. Hmm. I'm also seeing Divine Feminine, you was trying to kill two birds with one stone as well. So it's like you wanted to have your cake and eat it too. It's like Divine Feminine, you didn't trust somebody. You trusted this person, but you didn't. Divine Feminine, you wanted to manifest two things at once. It's like you wanted the King of Swords to think you trusted him, but at the same time, you was trying to fix it and manifest something just in case the King of Swords turned out to be a liar you wanted something else in place as well because you was protecting yourself. I see that too. But I, I see Divine Feminine, you can't have it all. You wasn't supposed to be doing two things at once or something like that. Or, or because you was doing two things at once, you're going to lose overall or something like that. Because you was trying to protect yourself. Something happened, Divine Feminine, because you was protecting yourself. So this could have even been emotionally or divine feminine. You didn't trust the king of swords when you should have trusted the king of swords. And you might take a loss because of that. Because the king of swords might find out this week, divine feminine, that you don't trust him. So divine feminine, like I said, for some of y'all, the king of swords can be your lawyer. And he might find out, divine feminine, that you was in the process of hiring another lawyer. And when he find that out, he going to drop you. Because it's like Divine Feminine, the King of Swords could have gave you a deal. And you could have got suspicious because the King of Swords gave you a deal. Or he was nice to you. And you like, I don't trust that lawyer. Let me go get me another lawyer just in case. And Divine Feminine, that King of Swords might find out and just like just 
drop you from his case low or something like that. Yeah, because that's what you was trying to do, Divine Feminine. You was trying to protect yourself. <clears throat> something like that going on. Spill the beans with the King of Swords and the Magician. Oh, no. Spill the beans with the King of Swords, the Magician, and kissing ass. Yeah, coming in after you. Mm, this could have been a third-party situation in love, too, Divine Feminine. Oh, Divine Feminine, it's like this. You had something going on with the King of Swords. Your King of, the King of Swords could have been your ex. But at the same time, Divine Feminine, you had something going on with a current lover. So it's a third party situation in love. Whether you're sleeping with the King of the King of Swords or not, it's a third party. So Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where, say, like the King of Swords is your ex husband. The King of Swords was helping you with your car payment, but Divine Feminine. You had a boyfriend the whole time and you didn't tell the King of Swords. And the King of Swords might find out that you got a boyfriend this week, Divine Feminine. And he's going to like stop paying your car payment or something like that. Because it's like the King of Swords is saying, Divine Feminine, you had a man the whole time. And I was helping you pay your car note and taking care of the baby. And you had a boyfriend. Yeah, that King of Swords gonna be like, uh uh, I'm not paying your car note. You tell him to do it. Divine from the year. Something like that. But that's the spilling the beans coming in after you. So that's letting me know it could have been a third party, your crush, Divine Feminine. <clears throat> Or Divine Feminine, this could be happening too, Divine Feminine, because Spirit could be making you choose. Because I'm kind of picking up Divine Feminine. The King of Swords is your ex. You're probably not sleeping with the King of Swords. He, the King of Swords help you out financially. You're not sleeping with him. But Divine Feminine, I don't think you told the King of Swords you had a boyfriend or something like that. Something like that going on. And Divine Feminine, you probably still like the King of Swords and the King of Swords don't like you like that. He's literally around to like help you make sure you and the baby are right. It's like the King of Swords don't want to get back together with you. But Divine Feminine, you like unconsciously, you wanted the King of Swords back. So you like attached yourself to the King of Swords through a bill or something? Or something like that going on, Divine Feminine. Or that King of Swords did it, did that to you. The King of Swords probably wanted you back, Divine Feminine. So he could have offered in the past to help you out with something, a bill, your car note, or child support. The King of Swords offered a service, a favor to you. But it could have been Divine Feminine because he wanted to reconcile. But he might find out you got a boyfriend or something. Because he's your ex. Y'all was not back together. He your ex. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> But spill the beans with the four cups, the king of cups, and legal issues. Yeah, that's probably why secret admirer is here. Secret admirer. Divine Feminine, you admire someone secretly or somebody admires you secretly. And it's either the king of swords or it's your crush that secretly admires you. Yeah, and their feels. That's the tea. I mean, that's the spilling the beans. I think the king of divine feminine, this is like you hurting the king of swords feelings. <clears throat> and it's like Divine Feminine, the King of Swords shed it like a couple of tears. And when the King of Swords got finished crying, he just going to cut you off from something. That King of Swords going to let you hurt his feelings for like one day. You going to get one day from him. <laughs> he going to cry for you for one day. And then after that, he just going to, this King of Swords going to do something. Might break up with you or fire you or um, something. Whoever that King of Swords is. I don't think that King of Swords like being hurt. That King of Swords do not like his feelings being hurt. Or Divine Feminine, the Four of Cups could be you. Divine Feminine, say like the King of Swords is like, I'm going to give this an for example. Divine Feminine, say like the King of Swords is a player. And it's like Divine Feminine, every time you see the King of Swords with another girl, you be like this. You be Four of Cups. 
complaining, whining, crying. So it's like divine feminine. The king of swords going to do you a favor this week. And he just going to leave you alone. He going to leave you alone. Because it's like the king of swords is saying, I already told divine feminine, I'm single. I don't want no girl. And I meant what I said. I'm not changing my mind. I'm a player. I'm a bachelor. The last time was the last time divine feminine called me crying, treating me like she my girl. So to to cut through all the bull crap, because I'm tired of hearing divine feminine mouth. I'm tired of hearing divine feminine cry. So I'm gonna just cut divine feminine off completely. Cause I don't want to hear divine feminine mouth because divine feminine is not my girl. And it's like divine feminine, the king of swords is like this. He's like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Nope. So this King of Swords might just cut you off, Divine Feminine, just all together. Because it's like he's trying to do you a favor, Divine Feminine. You can't handle it. It's like you can't handle it, Divine Feminine. Because it's like when you see him with another girl, you'll be like, there. And he be like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't love near one of y'all, and i cut you loose. Because I don't love near one of y'all. I'm the King of Swords. I don't, I don't love none of y'all. And you got me in my feelings? No, that's not the way I want my life to go. Divine Feminine, that King of Swords going to cut you off. Yeah, but it's Divine Feminine, whatever that King of Swords do, it's for your own good. Because it's like Spirit wants you to... <coughs> Divine Feminine, whatever you was trying to manifest, you wasn't supposed to manifest that or you was doing something the wrong way. You was doing something the wrong way. So this manifestation was supposed to come to an end. Divine Feminine, you could have been trying to manifest a twin flame connection with the King of Swords. And the King of Swords can be a karmic. And it's like Divine Feminine, that, this, this man is not playing with you. When he said that he did not want a, a, a serious commitment, that's what the King of Swords meant. And it's like Divine Feminine, he, he's not about to sit there and let you try to manipulate him emotionally. And then next thing he know, he in a relationship with you. That King of Swords ain't let, letting you do that. Yeah, because he done already told you. Something like that going on. And Divine Feminine, you was trying to manifest emotional mastery, but you couldn't. Because I think you had more love for the King of Swords than the King of Swords had for you. And you was trying to be hard body, but you couldn't, Divine Feminine. You couldn't. You couldn't handle that King of Swords. Yeah, and spirit don't want you with a man like that or something like that. You was trying to please that king of swords or something like that. Mm-mm, y'all wasn't compatible. Y'all wasn't compatible. <clears throat> or Divine Feminine, you could have been the one too being fake. Divine Feminine, because you probably didn't love the king of swords. The king of swords could have liked it you, Divine Feminine, and you didn't like that king of swords. And Divine Feminine, you could have been trying to manifest. <coughs> you could have been trying to make yourself love the King of Swords. Because the King of Swords can be stable. And Divine Feminine, common sense told you, I need the King of Swords. Because the King of Swords is stable. So if the, king, the, if the King of Swords want me to love him or he want love from me, let me try to manifest actually loving him. But Divine Feminine, you was kind of being fake and phony. Yeah, you was trying to manifest love, but Divine Feminine, you didn't love the King of Swords. You didn't, you really didn't love this man, and he knew it. So he might just, yeah. Yeah, you didn't love that King of Swords, Divine Feminine. And you was trying to, <laughs> but something's going to be, mm -mm, it's not going to work out. But it's for your own better, Divine Feminine. Okay, so what's brewing with the Ten of Ten of Pentacles, Thief, and Crush. What's brewing with this? So, um, what's brewing is anything that could happen immediately because of the energy. Or what's brewing could be anything that might happen later on down the line of time because of the energy. Alright, so let me finish up. Let me put what's brewing with this energy. What's brewing with the Ten of Pentacles, Thief, and Crush? What's brewing? Spoil you. Yeah, that's what's brewing. Spoil you. Getting spoil you. Treating, treating, catering. Yeah. 
So the Divine Feminine, I'm picking up, you kind of wanted the King of Swords, but you wasn't compatible with the King of Swords. You're right in the matter, Divine Feminine, and the King of Swords is right about something too. But you guys are not compatible. But in this situation, the King of Swords kind of had, kind of had one up over you, Divine Feminine. But what's brewing is you're going to find someone that you're compatible with and you're going to get what you want. Divine Feminine, you deserve to be spoiled and that's what you're going to get. But you wasn't going to get that from that King of Swords. Yeah, what's brewing is Divine Feminine, you're going to get what you want. And it's probably from um, your man crush. Your um, Whoever this man is that got a crush on you. Because I think the man, Divine Feminine, that got a crush on you, he's probably not as stable as the King of Swords. So you was looking for stability, Divine Feminine. But as far as emotions, Divine Feminine, your crush is going to be able to fulfill your needs emotionally. And it's like Divine Feminine, in due time, you're going to be able to stand up on your own two feet financially. So you really didn't need the King of Swords. So that's what Spirit could be trying to um, show you. Like you can get what you want, Divine Feminine, without... Having to be constantly scrutinized by the King of Swords. Like something like that could be going on. <clears throat> Y'all not good. Divine Feminine, whoever the King of Swords is, the King of Swords is, especially if he's like a lover. Y'all not compatible. <clears throat> Y'all not compatible. And Divine Feminine, the King of Swords was not going to spoil you, spoil you, you emotionally. He's, he wasn't going to do that. If you was wrong, the King of Swords was going to tell you you was wrong. If you was late on your payments, the Divine Feminine, the King of, the King of Swords is not going to like keep on um, footing the bill for you. The King of Swords was not going to do that. It's like the King of Swords didn't care. The Divine Feminine, say like you was married to the King of Swords. And you did everything except for like you was late on bills. You did everything. You took care of the house. You took care of the kids. But the King of Swords didn't appreciate that you was late on bills or something. And it's like, Divine Feminine, you're going to be able to find a man that you're compatible with. And he's going to take everything into consideration. Like, I'm not going to dump Divine Feminine because she's always late on her bills. I'm not going to dump. I'm not going to throw away the whole car just because a tire is flat. The King of Swords will throw away a whole car just because a tire is flat. Because the King of Swords want a whole car. I don't want not one tire flat. <laughs> that's, that's the King of Swords energy. I'll throw away the whole car. I can get me a car that, that ain't nothing wrong with it. That's the King of Swords. Like something like that. Yeah, the King of Swords is no nonsense. For the most part, the King of Swords is no nonsense. <laughs> that's what's wrong for you, Divine Feminine. You're going to get what you want. And you don't have to, like, um, try to be something or be something you're not to, like, keep the King of Swords. Yeah. I think Spirit is telling you, Divine Feminine, you really didn't need the King of Swords. You can, you're capable of manifesting a man that's going to spoil you emotionally. And Divine Feminine, at the same time... You can manifest financial independence on your own. You don't need financial success with the King of Pentacles. Or the King of Pent or the King of Swords is not your only option to get financially independent. The King of Swords is not your only option. You can manifest financial independence through another source. You don't need the King of Swords. You don't need the King of Swords. What's wrong with the two of wands, the ten of wands, carless, and bankrupt and protecting yourself? What's wrong with this? Yeah, the police. The police, yeah. Yeah. Divine Feminine, I don't know. The King of Swords might, I don't know, Divine Feminine. Be careful because the King of Swords might call the cops on you. Because it's like Divine Feminine, the King of Swords could have been like your ex-lover, your child's father. And... Say, like, for instance, the King of Swords let you borrow his credit card, Divine Feminine. And you were supposed to pay your car note with his credit card. But Divine Feminine, you paid your car note, and then you went to the mall, you got you some sneakers, and you went and got your nails done. The King of Swords might, the King of Swords might take you to court, Divine Feminine, for doing them extra charges on his credit card. He might call the cops on you, Divine Feminine. 
whether y'all was like in a romantic relationship or not, um, divine feminine, the king of swords might call the police on you. That's what's brewing. Or you might have to call the cops on the king of swords. That's what's brewing. What's brewing with the king of swords, the magician kissing ass and coming in after you? Yeah, insecure. Yeah, that's what's brewing. I'm picking up things might get worse before they get better. Things might get worse before they get better. Divine Feminine, you might experience being insecure. Because the King of Swords might leave you. Or might uh, take something from you or something. Some type of service the King of Swords was doing for you or helping you in a matter. He might pull back his energy. But somebody's going to become insecure. Divine Feminine, if it's you, what's brewing is you might feel insecure for a while in love. Because I'm picking up the King of Swords probably scrutinizing you, Divine Feminine. But you're going to eventually find another lover. But you're going to feel insecure at first. That's what's brewing. You're going to feel insecure. Or this King of Swords might start feeling insecure, Divine Feminine. And the King of Swords don't like feeling insecure. So when the King of Swords is around someone that makes them feel insecure, the King of Swords will just cut you off. Because you're not going to make the King of Swords feel insecure about nothing. Whether he right or wrong. Yeah. So that was, well, that's what can be brewing. <coughs> Somebody's going to begin to start feeling insecure. Or something like that. And that's why the police might have to get called. What's brewing with the Four of Cups, the King of Cups, legal issues are in their fields? Yeah, money hungry. That's what's brewing. We'll do anything. We'll do anything. Yeah, Divine Feminine, that's what's brewing. Divine Feminine, the, the King, if the King of Swords is the one that's money hungry, Divine Feminine, the King of Swords might take you to court. Because this King of Swords could have been like a friend of yours or a lover with benefits. And I'm giving this for example. The King of Swords could have gave you his credit card, Divine Feminine, to do one thing. But you did other charges on his credit card. You did other things. And it's like even though you and the King of Swords is probably friends, he might uh, take you to court. Because he didn't tell you to spend 500 He gave you his credit card to spend 250 But Divine Feminine, you probably spent 500 So he might take you to court for the difference. Whether you guys are friends or not. Yeah, that's what's brewing. Somebody going to get money hungry. We'll do anything. Yeah, somebody want their money back or something. Um, It could have been something about morals as well. It could be something about morals. Divine Feminine, this energy could also be you. Somebody could have been trying to play you too, Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you could have let somebody hold your credit card. And they was only supposed to spend a certain amount. <coughs> but because this person felt as though y'all was cool like that, this person never thought in a million years, Divine Feminine, that you would take them to court. Or Divine Feminine, you never thought in a million years that this person would take you to court because y'all was cool like that. But it's because somebody is going to become money hungry and they'll do anything. Even take you to court, whether you're their ex, family member, friend, yeah, this person, somebody going to take somebody to court. Because they want their money back at all costs, no matter who you is. Divine Feminine, or something like that. That's what's brewing. Mm-hmm. So, Divine Feminine, again, the King of Swords could be somebody else. Or the King of Swords could be you. And Divine Feminine, you might get money hungry and want your money back. And you don't care who that King of Swords is. You're, you're, you're going to take this person to court because you're going to become money hungry. And on top of that, um, it's like, it's what how they say it? It's the, it's about morals or something like that. Somebody could have been morally wrong or something like that. It's like we family, but you still was wrong morally, whether we family or not. You, somebody's still wrong in the situation. 
or something like that going on. Um, Divine Feminine, that's what I have for you. So, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have feeling suck, one out, but feeling trapped. Yeah, somebody went out of a situation. And then we have a private relationship here. Private relationship. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's what's going on in the Bible. Um the time and aspect of this pathway card, the time and aspect, it could be it said, I think it said one to two years. So Divine Feminine, you might initiate a court case against the King of Swords or something. Or the King of Swords might initiate a court case against you. But it might take one to two years for like everything to be settled. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up a little bit. The King of Swords might be the one to take you to court. But it's like Divine Feminine, by the time everything gets settled and y'all actually end up in court for the for the finalization of the case. It's like divine feminine, you going you're going to be in a better place. So say like the King of Swords won his case one or two years from now against you. And like divine feminine, you owe the King of Swords like like five hundred dollars. You're gonna be in a better place financially, and you're just you're just gonna get the King of Swords his money, and you're gonna have a new lover. It's like by that time you're gonna be in a better place. So you gonna have the money for the King of Swords because you lost the case, but you're gonna have a new lover, a better lover. Somebody that you're more com compatible with. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because your overall energy is start fresh. Start fresh. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up the King of Swords can also be your boss. And he might demote you because of something like a... Something that the King of Swords is serious about, Divine Feminine, you think is petty. So the King of Swords might demote you from full-time to part-time. But it's like Divine Feminine, in two years' time, you're going to get your full-time position back or something like that. In two years' time, give it a while. Because Spirit allows something to happen for your betterment, Divine Feminine. It's for your overall, the betterment of yourself. Yeah, so in two years' time, if you stick with this job, Divine Feminine... You're going to get your um, full-time position back. But you're going to be better. You're going to be better. You're going to be a better person. You're going to be a better... It's like by the time Divine Feminine, you get your full-time position back, you're going to be a better money manager. You're going to be a better mother. You're going to be a better wife, a better girlfriend. You're going to be better. Because in the length of time from this week until one to two years from now, Divine Feminine, you're going to be a better person. Yeah. Something like that. But I'm going to end it. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Um, Divine Feminine, and thank you. Enjoy the, this week, Divine Feminine, and thank you.